Undocumented immigrants are often portrayed as criminals, but some are victims of crimes themselves. In our continuing series, I spoke to a former asylum seeker who now helps other immigrants rebuild their lives. In 2013, Valdir Solera Jr. and 21 other college students moved to Maui from Brazil for what they thought was an internship in agriculture biology. And he's bringing these students so they think they're going to have an internship. It was just a labor job. They were victims of international human trafficking, cheap labor for a farm. He said they reported the company to the Department of Homeland Security and helped the federal investigation. Solera was given a special T visa for trafficking victims and granted asylum three months later. People who are basically scammed and, and come here um, with the promise, you know, that, oh, we'll get you a legitimate visa. Attorney Esther Yu says traffickers will bring in immigrants on temporary visas and force them to work long hours with little pay and no benefits. Their quote unquote employer uh, is saying, well, you owe me for your passage to the United States. So you you're going to have to work off your debt. When the worker overstays their visa and becomes undocumented, the employer threatens to have them arrested or deported. Please come on in. Some escape and survive with the help of local nonprofits. Unlike Solera, most asylum seekers wait for years, as long as 10 years in limbo until their cases are resolved, either through U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or the court system. Many face life-threatening situations in their home countries, such as Ukraine and Myanmar. More than 8,000 refugees live in Hawaii, about 3% of the state's total immigrant population. They contribute about $100 million in taxes each year. The misperception is that, oh, all these people are coming to take advantage of the resources of the United States, but I would say that almost all of my clients um, if they could go back to their homeland safely, would, but they can't. 11 years later, Solera has a green card and works as a conservationist in the tourism industry. He advises policymakers as Hawaii's delegate to the Refugee Congress. We go and talk to the um, senators and uh, governors and about the issues in each state for the immigrant community. He's also an interpreter and helps Lahaina wildfire survivors access resources. Many of the front street workers in the restaurants, many of them were undocumented. They lost their jobs, their, their cars, their houses, and many of them were afraid of seeking for um, the right help because they were afraid of their status. Kamala Harris's deadly destruction of America's borders is completely... While anti-immigrant rhetoric is rising ahead of elections, he says Hawaii is different. We are lucky that we have um, people that are not that polarized. So uh, I believe we are in, the be in better shape than other states. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.